What's up, everybody? It is Karina, and welcome to episode two of the Just Living Life podcast. And today I'm here with Joe from Clever Aperture over on Instagram. And today we're uh, actually doing a meetup here at Replay in Lincoln Park. Gang, gang. A yes. lot. And before we even get started, Joe, please introduce yourself to everybody. Uh, my name is Joe. I go by Joe underscore Cashflow, mm -hmm. no W. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, content creator, digital marketer, influencer. All around, all around good guy. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So basically, I wanted to talk to you today because like you run like such an awesome like Instagram account Appreciate online. That. Appreciate that. And thank that. you for always like you know showing me on your like IG stories yeah. and you know just featuring. To me, that's pretty awesome. And I'm like, this dude's kind of cool. And today you're doing the meetup, and I'm like, yeah. okay, I think it'd be really, really cool to just like sit down, yeah. and talk to you, get to know you a little bit better. Yeah. I really want to ask you how and why did you start your IG account and also why did you pick clever underscore aperture as the IG handle? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. I am, I'm, I'm a, like I said, I'm a, an entrepreneur and I'm kind of scatterbrained, right? So yeah. I always figured, you know, there's always, there's, there's always something to be, you have to be better than the next thing, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody does the same thing. And I'm like, well, how do I get my stuff out there? Because yeah. I'm a photographer. I, First. I started photography five years ago, and uh, so I kept wondering, well, how come my photos never got featured? Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? And as I started digging deeper, that's how I felt too. I'm just like, I always like tag people and things like that, and I'm like, what, yeah. what is my stuff not? And I, and I found out is because on Instagram, you everybody has like little clicks, yeah. right? And you have this engagement group, so you know, so if you're not part of this crew, mm -hmm. you never get your photos yeah. featured. And you know, I, I have a background in technology and like you know automation and cybersecurity. So I was like, yeah, no, we can't have that. So I basically took all the skills that I knew and I realized like, okay, well, I'm gonna do something about it. Yeah. So if you're not gonna share my photos, when, when I know my photos, I'm not saying I'm great, yeah, but yeah. like that photo looks like crap, right? And then why are you gonna feature it and mine's yeah, not? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah, find yeah. out this, this, you know, the hoopla all about it. And so I, I, I love that word hoopla. Yeah, first much about right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. And and I realized like you know like something's got to be done about that. Yeah. You know? And so December December second of last year, I was like, you know, I'm I'm gonna tell my life like I was going to move to Chicago anyway. Yeah. So I was like, well, what's the easiest way to move to Chicago? meet people and shoot all at the same time yeah and i was like okay well let's come up with an idea because that's what i do for a living i make up stuff right and i'm like okay uh clever aperture because it's clever and it's a fox i, I literally did yeah. I, I literally sat there and it just came to my mind is that and that's just like that so i didn't okay, there was cool. really not really science to it yeah. so when you sit there like well how did you like, how do you know like i, I was like oh, well, I, I get that i get yeah. that yeah, yeah yeah and so like you know aperture mm -hmm. like, yes yeah, so i want to do something with right okay, and okay, then you know yeah, yeah. and people tell me i'm kind of smart like well, clever, I'm kind of a smart ass, right? So I was like, well, clever aperture, and yeah, I like, put yeah. it together. And I was like, well, Fox, I'm like, well, duh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, so it just, just worked out. And then I did what I did, you know, like I basically, you know, I have, I, I own Cashflow Media, we're a digital yeah. marketing company, and I basically just use all my resources and tools I yeah. know how to do that I do for other people. I just did it myself as yeah. a hobby to start. Yeah. And then uh, like a week later, I had like a thousand followers. And then like- Did you expect like Clever Aperture like to grow to this point? Like where you'd be making meetups? Oh like no, we're not this? done. Like I knew exactly yeah. what we we're doing. Okay. Like this is gonna get better. Like, yeah, like, this, this, this is this, how many, this is which- this is, So this is the sixth one. The next okay. one is gonna be August 31st, same okay. spot, same place here. Okay. And it's where, where you got it, seventh, seventh, seventh one. Yeah. Um, my first one was actually on Super Bowl Sunday oh, in wow. Chicago. Yeah. It was like 12 degrees outside. And we had ten people still show up. For it. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's better than nothing. Yeah, and like, I was expecting just me, myself, and I to be yeah. there, right? And then you know it was on Hubbard and Wells, the parking garage, you know, and you know ten people showed up, and yeah. we we're like, oh, and then me and we, we shot from the twelve o'clock when we started. I didn't get home to one thirty that that next morning. Wow. I walked like we walked like twenty eight thousand steps that day. We, we walked all the way from wow. we walked from all the way from Little Italy yeah. all the way to Trump Tower, oh and my then God, I, I and, I, and I had to walk all the way back. So I walked like five miles that day. All right, like, and then and then so the next time somebody was like, "Hey, I missed the last meetup. Are you gonna yeah. have another one?" And I was like, "Well, shit, yeah." Why not? So we have a two, and then guess we guess From, what three? Yeah. yeah. And so basically, we people when people keep asking me, "Are yeah. we having another one?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. When people stop asking me, it's over. Mm -hmm. So if you guys really if cool. you guys want meetups, ask me when the next one. That's gonna awesome, be. and I think that's really cool. Like. For you to yeah. do that because like you're giving back to like the community and it's like that must be like like i don't even know how like you feel like you know giving back to the community yeah, and how so, does and that, that feel like well know? the thing is like a lot of people you know were always like joe you're doing all this stuff da, da, da. like you know you know i'm like like yeah i i am not happy until i see other people in their space yeah. doing what they love to do so like so today 
I'll be happy later on yeah. when I just look around. And I think that's what's, you know, you know, I try to, I think that's what kind of helps me focus is not like worrying so much about what I'm doing yeah. and the cause, but just to just do it yeah. and then see what happens. Yeah. Right. That's, that's and then, the and, yeah. And then just wing it. And then at the end of the day, you realize like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And yeah. then when you align yourself with that, that's when it gets interesting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's, and that's the part for me. It's just, like last the last minute was here. I didn't even have my camera with me. Like I brought my camera for the first time. Like I was yeah. like, I may I may actually shoot this thing. Yeah, so I know. I'm cool. like really excited because I've never like been in like one space where there's like a bunch of creative people. Yeah, like yeah. to an event. Like I don't know. This is just super cool. I'm a little nervous. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, it, it, nervousness nervousness yeah. is good. Like that's how you know you're human. Yeah. Right. Anxiety is good. That's how you know you're human. That's that's what that's your inner that's your that's your intuition and your yeah. instinct letting you know like you know stay away stay clear yeah. it, it, it's, it's there for a reason yeah. you know what I'm saying but you just have to know if you know what you're supposed to be doing yeah it helps out to that's why I basically just I have a lot of anxiety yeah. right so I think everybody I just, does yeah. you just don't so, talk about it. yeah I just work harder I'm like so yeah. that's so I get I try to get distracted right mm -hmm. so I just do more crazy shit like mm -hmm. set up in, events like this and no one thought they could yeah. do it and it was awesome. like let's just do it. I thank you for doing that because that like you know helps people like myself you know like in photography to be able to come to a place and just network and get some other people and learn you know yeah I mean and I appreciate you guys coming and my whole thing is this you know I realized a long time ago the only way you're gonna be successful in this world is if you become of service to something yes. so you, so you find out what the, what a what a what a problem is which yes. was I found out that people weren't tagging the right people yeah. like you only like show your buddy I'm gonna give a shit yeah. right. And so I find out what the gap is, uh -huh. and then I, and I basically, you know, I I, I give everybody a fair shake, right? Cool. And I think that's what I'm getting. I'm getting blessed by that because mm -hmm. I don't like yeah. I mean, if you have less than if you have over ten thousand followers, mm -hmm. I I would not vote to feature your shit. There's really no there's no so point. You, do you do you really focus more on like I guess yeah. Smaller so ten yeah, yeah 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 that's yeah. what we do like yeah like <laughs> so like if you have ten thousand really cool. yeah if you have ten thousand yeah. followers and up like I don't even want to talk to you. Wow. I'll skip okay. your shit. Like, I don't, you, you mean nothing to me. Yeah, okay. so like, so basically, the smaller the account, the better because because awesome. I mean, I mean, here's I really a, like the... I mean, yeah, I mean, here's the thing: they're like, you know, somebody who just grabbed IG last week, mm -hmm. who's a dope photographer, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, he's gonna make some dope shit, mm -hmm. or she's gonna make some dope shit, or this guy who has ten thousand followers, which he already has an ego problem. Yeah. He probably bought those followers, and his oh, and his wow. and his work is shit. Mm -hmm. So why would I sit there and like mm -hmm. feature you whenever you're you not really doing the grind? Mm -hmm. Because because well here's why another thing too so, you know when you when you're that big mm -hmm. it's an ego thing for you right so you're not gonna worry about our little small hubby yeah right? like that's, mm -hmm. that's that's good yeah when you, if I don't, if you're not paying attention to me that's why you fucked up mm -hmm. that's why I like it yeah. you know what I'm saying because I don't want you to pay attention to me sure yeah. I'm like we're six thousand we're grown yeah. oh yeah you're, we're gonna, you're at six thousand now I thought yeah last no. time I saw it I think it was like at five thousand yeah no it's at uh. You're growing. You're really growing. Yeah, I appreciate it. I yeah, don't even so, know how I found your account. No, I found you. You didn't oh, you find did? me. Oh, okay, I'm like, <laughs> it's all automation. It's all like, yeah, it's all oh, right really? through the software. Yeah. So like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we have okay. 5,940. 5, oh, yeah. Really close to 6,000. Yeah. And I mean, we get, I mean, you probably didn't see this part, but here's a audience, blah, 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 blah. That's not what we're looking for. Activity. Keep changing this stuff. All right. Yeah, so this just went down, but I mean, we have like seventeen thousand impressions. That's just, wow, that's, that's low. Really, that's actually that, low. To me, that's pretty high. No, that's very low because like I, I get like sixty thousand. Wow. Like, every six days, it's kind of crazy. Okay, we get it. We're on. All right. Uh, let's see activity. So this, this just went down eleven thousand. But yeah, we got forty. That's wow. almost forty thousand. Yeah. That's, that to me, that's still nuts. Yeah. Unless so, I did want to ask you. So like, how did you get into photography? Sometimes people like just always had it in them or yeah. maybe they took a class and it inspired them you said about like five years ago right yeah so and like like got you into it i've always like taken photos off of like my phone yeah. or like i was always like my parents would always give me like the, the three feet like the 35 millimeter like yeah it was like, the th yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameras, like yeah you're the photographer but i never really put two and two together with it and then you know i worked for i used to work for at t when i was a special operations manager and my job was literally travel over the united states for 30 days at a time and then teach people what right looks like as far as sales okay. and things like that. So, little did I know, I was about to, that's my favorite car by the way. Sorry. Oh, me too. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah I know. But uh, no, yeah, right. um, so it was basically, they were like, well, here, you, we're going to give you this opportunity to travel over the United States yeah. and do something. I'm like, well, what the hell am I going to do for 30 days by myself? Yeah. I was like, well, hmm. So my, my friend let me borrow the camera like yeah. the week before. And then something was like, 
wasn't my job. I was like, well, we'll pay you gas. We'll pay you for this. We'll pay you for that. And I took, I took the money and went and got my camera. So this, is, this is the first camera that I've ever had for really? five years. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, I've never what, had, what camera is that? It's a T6i Rebel. Like mm. entry level. That's fine. Yeah. And I just I actually just bought this lens, this yeah. Sigma 1.3 or 1.4. But it's lens two months ago. It was like, nine, it was like $950. But, but I, so I used a kit lens for like four yeah. years. That's Nobody awesome. even knew that. No, and here's the, the thing that I like about photography. You honestly don't need like the five thousand dollar camera, the two thousand yeah. dollar lens. Uh uh, no. I started a lot with like my kit lens. I no, yeah. I started with just like simple like cameras. And when I was in high school, my yeah. teacher was lucky enough to trust me with the DSLR. Yeah. He didn't let no other kid touch it. He's yeah. like, "Well, you can use it." That's pretty like, awesome. Yes. That's how you know. That's where you know your destiny. That's where you're yeah, supposed yeah. to be doing things. So I, mean, like, I, I, I shoot. I shoot my dog. <laughs> This is why I have a case. Yeah. It happens a lot. I drop my phone all the time. But yeah, no, I shoot. With, I, I can. I shoot with my cell phone. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm out and about, I hate taking that thing with me. I know. Sometimes it's you just yeah. need your phone. Sure, yeah. you don't. You can't get certain lighting yeah. or this and that. But sometimes you just gotta use what you have at you, that moment. And that's the thing. You yeah. know. And, and I, I mean, if you probably see me in my stories, I kind of go into little rants and raves, right? Because like, I mean, if you see the same photographers doing the same cityscape all day, like that guy's a good barn. Yeah. I mean, for me, it is. So like with me, I do cityscape, I do portraits, I do long expos, yeah. the depth of field, like whatever. Like give me anything and I'll that's demolish you. Yeah, not that I'll demolish you. No, 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 but that's what I mean. Yeah, no, we should have the mentality, right? Yeah. Because like people just get too comfortable yeah. doing the same bullshit. I know, and for me with street photography, I never did it. But then it's like I don't have like you know friends that are models or nothing like that. So it's like, okay, what can I do? I'll go to Chicago, take pictures, boom, done. And I've seen other people do it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, screw it, let me try it. And I did it, and oh my gosh, like it's gotten better and yeah. better and better. And, and, and that's better. A, and that's a, that's that's what I love so much about like what we do, yeah. right? You know, and then if if you if I notice that you, I mean, I realize I'm a leader in this community, so mm -hmm. I just have to act like one, right? So basically, like, so if I see your photos are not like, I'm gonna challenge you, yeah. right? Because because I, 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 I want people to be better at what they're doing. That's mm -hmm. just me. That's just my personality, right? So if you do the same like city shots, yeah. I'm gonna unfollow you because it's boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know Thank you for following me. I didn't oh. expect that that one. No, 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 no problem. Thank you. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I mean, that's and if I, if and I, and I, I mean, I'll, like, with me, I suck at portraits. I still do. Yeah. Right. But guess what? Though? That's what makes it exciting for me yeah. is learning more shit. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, you know, if I need to do my mobile photography, we can, we can knock that out. If we need to do, you know, like whatever, whatever you, whatever you bring to the table. If we're gonna have a photo challenge, mm -hmm. let's go. I, yeah. I'm, I'm down. Oh my gosh, that would be so fun. That could be an idea. And then, because um, I know sometimes people are intimidated to start mm -hmm. photography. I don't know if that's the right word because people feel compelled, like they need the expensive camera, this and yeah. that. And we were yeah. kind of talked about that. You really don't. So really for anyone don't. that really wants to like start photography or get into it, what, I guess, piece of advice would you offer to those type of people? Uh, I mean, use your resources. Use what you've got. So, and don't keep up, don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Like, no, never. You know what I'm saying? Never. Because uh -uh. like that person has a Mark 5D. I don't even give a shit what you've got. It's $4,000 or whatever it is. I'll kill you with my cell phone. Right? You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Like, and that's and that's to me. That's what brings me more pride. It's mm -hmm. that like you can have this nice fancy camera, mm -hmm. but here's my iPhone 10. Yeah. Like, I would like what the minute the minute iPhone comes out with, with an F stop and whatever they have an F stop. Oh like, my gosh! Like it's with game shutter over. speed. Yeah, the minute I can do long exposures for my cell phone, yeah. I'm trashing it. Yeah, that's it. That's all that's I'm more waiting for. Like obviously mobile, like you can that's easily in your all pocket. I'm that's for. it. I'm waiting for them to come up with a literally like a ISO, like a ISO, like shutter speed. But, or some so, sort of accessory that they'll come out specifically. Like, something. Do, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, it's they, they, it's only app, time. There's an app for yeah. it. They actually have an app for long exposure for your mm -hmm. phone, but I don't like that. Whatever. I have that. <laughs> yeah, and I did want to ask you, I know yeah. like you're like so creative and uh, into photography and like all this cool stuff. What makes you happy? Um, what makes me happy? To be honest with you, that's a good question. Um, I, I think what makes me happy is watching other people be happy, and I think that's what it, I think that's why I do this. Is because at the end of the day, I do like there's a lot of stuff that comes together that people don't really know that yeah. to make an event. I can only happen. imagine. Yeah. And I, but the thing is, but so I so I think it's you know trusting the process and then seeing that reality happen, and then watching people kind of like, but hold on. So you guys actually come to my show, right? So yeah. like so you guys so, so watching them people come. Everybody's collaborating. Everybody's happy. Everyone's smiling. That's what makes the whole like two-hour nights that yeah. I sleep and like wake up at four thirty in the morning yeah. and that makes it all worth it. So I mean, like, 
Good question. What makes me happy, to be honest with you, I'm not happy until like I live at the Aqua building on the eight on the eighty floor. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, is like five thousand dollars a month for a studio apartment. That's nuts. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm just it's just part of the grind. So like, what makes me happy? I mean, I'm just I'm just a happy person, right? Yeah. You just to keep positivity. You have yeah. to. Um. So I, I think it's, so. I think it's more of like an ongoing thing yeah. rather than just like I'm happy. I think the minute I become too comfortable being happy, the shit's gonna stop. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then a follow-up question on that yeah. one is, how do you define success? Um, freedom. Being able to do what the fuck you want. That's it? That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> like, being able to just literally, yeah, like, it's not about money. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's nice. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, because, who doesn't like money? Well, here's another thing, too, with that, too. So, I, I, I like, I manifest and I visualize having more money just so I can help even more. Yeah. So to, to me, put it to like put it back. it back, yeah. yeah so like, exactly. if I have, I have a pile of cash, this is yeah. gonna get crazy. Like we're gonna, we'll be on yachts and shit. Oh my gosh, we'll you be know on how yachts. Awesome, and shit. that would be. No, no I, I, I've already called. I mean, I've been like, that's what. Yeah. There's a lot of shit that's going on in the back end. Oh yeah, I, can only so imagine. I, I just had a meeting with the Peninsula Hotel a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't even talk too much about stuff. Oh no, but, yeah, that's but yeah, but, but, but yeah, we, yeah, this shit's, this shit's not something. It's the takeover. We're just starting. I know, and then like. Dang, dude, that's insane. Yeah, it's, and then, it's very exciting. I did want to ask, who inspires you or what inspires you? Like, what keeps you going? Like, um, well, just being able to, I mean, I think my, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit this mm -hmm. like my whole life, and I used to work for other people, which we all do. Yeah. So I'm like, well, um, so to me, it's, it's just just being able to do what I love to do. And it has to do with photography, digital marketing, sales, customer mm -hmm. service, community, talking. Hanging out and Gary V, he's a crazy man. Oh my gosh, man, I love so him. Gary v, He inspires me. Gary V, Grant Cardone, uh, Rob Dyrdek is huge. Rob Dyrdek is my dude. That's kind of why I came up with the whole cash flow media yeah. and I go by Joe Cashflow. Yeah. It's all about branding. Everything I do is all about sales. Like, mm -hmm. we're, I'm selling myself. Mm -hmm. And then Digital and Clever, Clever mm -hmm. Aperture was an experiment from cash flow media. And then we were literally all living in my simulation. Mm -hmm. That's insane. You, 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 literally, you guys are like living in my head. That's like, this nuts. is what, this is like, I visualize all this shit. That's really cool. I'm like, here it is. Like, and then we're here. Yeah. And we're talking. Basically, yes. Weird. Okay. And I did want to <laughs> ask you one last question before yeah. like, we even wrap all of this up. Um, what's one piece of advice that you would share to anyone that's watching this? That could be creative, life advice, just like anything. Yeah, I mean, it's a real, short and, it's real short and sweet. I mean, as far as with me. And so um, as far as like what, you know, what my piece of advice would be, uh, I'm, the, I'm the prime example of what happens when you literally just go for it, mm -hmm. just do your thing. Um, it, it takes a lot of sacrifice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm from St. Louis. So I got rid of the house, got rid of the car, got rid of the boat, went through oh. a divorce. Uh, you had a boat? Yeah, I had oh, a boat. Yeah, so okay. all that shit. Yeah. So, so I moved here in January. So I got rid of my, sold my house, sold my car, got rid of boat, got rid of my ex-wife. I'm single now. I have a seven-year-old. Mm -hmm. So that's so I go to St. Louis every other every every other weekend to see my boy. Okay. And then uh, you have to basically be comfortable being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And if you could, if you if you if you're good at being comfortable being uncomfortable and just pursuing your dreams and just do it, you're gonna be here. And we're not done yet. We're oh, just getting started. I know. He sounds, that sounds like just like Gary Vee, like where he is now, and then he's like, I'm just getting started. We're just getting started. Like, I mean, well, that, I, I literally watched that dude. Like, that's mm -hmm. like my Bible. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, yeah, he, you know, parents, yeah, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna lose some friends. Mm -hmm. you're gonna, like, your parents are not going to get you. You may have to cut them off. Mm -hmm. Not be like, not cut them off physically, yeah. but you may have to just not tell, like, seriously, like, that's what I had to do. Like, if you want to grow where you want to go to, you're not going to get there if there's another people tell you shit. Mm -hmm. You literally have to keep to, like keep your mouth shut, know what the hell you need to do, mm -hmm. and just do it. Yeah. And it's very hard, but it's not easy. It's easier it's, said than done. It's easier said than done. It's like I had to lose some shit. Like I had to get fired from my job. Oh, like wow. I, I had a job where in you know, cybersecurity, I, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I was making eight thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. by my like this single dude, and I I lived five minutes away from my work. Mm -hmm. And then like, I got I got fired because like it was kind of fun and kind of interesting story because four days before I came to work one day. I got sick in my stomach. I'm like, this is not it. Like, I just felt sick. Oh, wow. And then four days later, I got fired. And I was like, what's going on here? It's March 1st, right? Yeah. And then now, I'm like, well, yeah, I had to get fired. Because I would never have quit that mm -hmm. job. But, and so basically, I got that happened. They were like, well, basically, I, just, I, wasn't, I didn't fit in anymore. Because like, yeah. I was always doing my own thing. Yeah. And whenever you're, if you're in a culture at work 
that's the thing about corporate America. Mm-hmm. They don't give a shit about what you're good at. Mm-hmm. It's about how it's like how do you fit in with us? Yeah. And then, and then that's why you have a lot of shitty workers, mm-hmm. but they're really good kiss asses, right? So you kiss ass, but you keep your job. Yeah. But I say I was actually like doing my job and just not fucking with you. Mm-hmm. But then, like you know, then I isolated myself. Yeah, you know and I'm saying not on purpose. That's just what I do. Uh-huh. But so, but now I realize I work better alone yeah. than I do with, uh, which is fine, whatever. But but these people are not like minded like mm-hmm. I am, right? So, so basically that happened, and then I was like, well, I, I'm never, I never, I never go backwards in anything yeah. I do. Like I never, I never, if, we, if me and you were friends, we're not friends anymore. Guess what? We're just not friends anymore. Yeah. Ex girlfriend, sorry, you're in the past. Mm-hmm. Like it's, shit that's in the past, I don't go. I don't yeah. do it. Something's like, well, I'll do so. You, well, so you never go back. Why did you? Why just don't go back to having a job? Just do yourself. Like, just do your own shit. I. Uh, well, I had my business for this whole time, but I had a job, so I, yeah. so it was kind of going backwards. Right? So I was like, "You're right. Trash that. Let's go." Oh wow. Okay. And then I was like, "All right." So I basically hustled and like did the whole unemployment thing. Like I got something. I got like unemployment and shit for like six months. And then, like, and I decided, like, well, where am I gonna go? I have this freedom now yeah. to basically pick and choose. I literally, hit the reset button in my life. Yeah. I was like, well, I can't leave too far because I have a seven-year-old yeah. back in St. Louis. I was like, well, Chicago, and I had a buddy who had a clothing line, and I, I came out here to see him, mm-hmm. and you know, he came and do some photography for him, and I just fell in love with Chicago, mm-hmm. and and I was like, well, I need to be here, and I was like, well, how do I get to Chicago? Yeah. So. Let's go ahead and make a company called Clever Aperture. Oh. And then uh, I got a whole then bunch of people. Really and then Super Bowl's first Super Bowl Sunday was it. And then here we and are. And here you are today. And this that's that. Awesome. So, yeah, so basically, uh, um, don't quit. <laughs> um, it's going to suck because you're going to get fired from your job. And it's always people going to tell you you're going to be just fine. And you're going to be like, no, what do you mean? I'm confused. You, you have a job. I don't. But how am I going to be just fine? But here we are. Mm-hmm. Interviews. And hi. You're a puppy. Yeah, her. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I got I got distracted. Oh no, it's that okay. That was amazing. Anyway, okay. um, but yeah, so like that's 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 all it is in a nutshell. Okay, sweet. Well, thank you, show. I know there's a little bit of sound going on. I don't know if everyone can listen. But yeah. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for doing this meetup. Oh yeah. And thanks, bro. It was good. I, I appreciate it. I, I, I this is this is my first yeah. time on, a, on anything like this. Yeah. So this is pretty awesome. I hope so. you enjoyed it. Oh, I did. This is actually pretty fun. We're gonna do some more shit. Um, yeah, I can grab your camera, record some shit once we start showing up, and have a ball. Sweet. Hey, let's get it.